Hello, my name is Juan and I'm going to showcase lab 5 for my embedded computing system class. So if we take a look at this uh, diagram, it's pretty much the same one that we use in lab 4. Here, if we go to RGL analysis, we can see the schematic. And if we go to uh, report utilization, uh, I already have one here. The summary is going to be broken down into these sections. After launching the SDK and exporting the project, um, we close the unrelated projects from the last lab and we go here to file the new application project. Then we put here lab 5 and we make sure to use the system wrapper from the previous one while creating a new one, uh, a new board support package. Um, it would look something like this if we click in system.mms and this is the LED uh, intellectual property and the GPIOs that we set up. When we first run the project, um, it was everything in the same section of uh, RAM and it would, run, it would run like faster, but then in the same project, we broke it down into the memory controller and the DRAM so it reacts a bit slower here in the terminal. So if I switch one right now, it's going to take a little bit of time before the, uh, it registers it. So, as we can see here, because it's running in the VRAM instead of the DDR, um, it's going to take significantly longer to register the changes in the FPGA. So if we flip the switches, It takes a while for them to go off again. So switch it back on. There's a delay. Switch it back off. So there's a considerable delay. And the lights only turn on when I flip the switches. So if I, f if I switch all of them at the same time, all of the lights should uh, turn on. And if I press these buttons, then the output should be recorded in the terminal. So here, all the switches are... Uh, depth. So if I put them back to zero, all of them, it goes from a deep switch status F to deep switch status zero. And if I start pressing the buttons, uh, here I'm pressing the first one and the last one, so that's why it says nine. And if I press the two middle ones, that's why it says six.